Hello, I'm Tim England and this is Ask a Dementia Champion. On a previous video, I stated that, that there's over a hundred different uh, diseases that will cause a dementia condition. Today, we're going to have a brief look at frontotemporal dementias. For those who want to get a quick review and revisit what dementia is, please go to the beginning of the video titled Alzheimer's Disease, and there I've just included a short uh, revisit uh, to give you an overview of what dementia is. In Australia, a lesser known form of dementia is called frontotemporal dementias. And the human brain is traditionally divided into two hemispheres, left and right, and each hemisphere has four individual lobes within those hemispheres. When the frontal lobe, which is located behind the person's forehead, or the temporal lobes, which are located around the temporal area, uh, become damaged, this can cause a frontotemporal dementia. Now these areas of the brain are responsible for controlling behaviour, personality, language and the ability to plan and to organise. There are a number of sub-variants of frontotemporal dementias depending on the location and the amount of brain damage that has occurred. And these dementias are the most common form of dementia in individuals between the age of 45 and 65 years of age. Some of the hallmark symptoms of a frontotemporal dementia may include changes in personality, changes in behaviour, changes in self-control and difficulty with language. And these difficulties can also include uh, recognising objects and understanding what objects are, the understanding of words and the formation of words when trying to speak. The left temporal lobe is responsible for conveying the names of objects and the meaning of words, while the right temporal lobe is responsible for recognising familiar objects and faces. When the cells in the frontal and temporal lobes die off, the connection pathways between these lobes become altered. And as the damage accumulates, the frontal and temporal lobes begin to shrink in size, causing these lobes to lose function. Well, thanks for watching folks. This has been a brief discussion in the area of frontotemporal temporal dementias. There will be a future video that will go into a lot more detail coming through very soon. In the meantime, please continue to like, to share and subscribe. And please continue to put your questions, comments and feedback in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer everyone your questions as soon as I possibly can. Bye for now.